guys, so today I'm going to be doing an updated what's in my bag video. So it's been over a year since I did my last what's in my bag video and I bought a new bag recently and I showed a picture on my Instagram and a few of you asked if I would be doing a new what's in my bag video. So I decided to do one because I want to show my new bag and I just, it's nice to do an updated what's in my bag video. So this is my new handbag, it's from New Look, I think it was about 17 or 18 pounds and it's just a medium sized black, brown and white handbag. It's got these black edges, brown middle parts around the front and the back and then the front this white pocket which has kind of got like a snake skin detailing on with this gold bit here. The pocket isn't actually real, it's just fake for the look of it. And then it's got two short handles so you can wear it on your arm and one long handle so you can wear it on your shoulder which is the strap I use. And the long strap is also detachable so you could have it without that. So let's get into it. Our first thing at the top of the bag is a water bottle. I always carry a water bottle with me because I get so thirsty. This is just a 750cl water bottle. I know I really shouldn't use plastic ones, I should use um, proper water bottles, not these ones, but I, this is what is in my handbag at the moment. Next big thing at the top of the bag is the book I'm reading at the moment. This is We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. I can't remember where I heard about this, but I asked for it for Christmas or my birthday, I think, and it's really, really good. I'm about halfway through it at the moment, and I just mostly have a book in my handbag where I go, when I go somewhere for longer, like on a train or something. So this was the last book I was reading when I was on the train on Tuesday, and I just read, and it's a really, really great book at the moment. Very kind of intriguing. Inside the bag, now that you can kind of see inside of it, it has um, just one big compartment and then it has a back zip at the back where you can keep things and then a phone pocket at the front. So I kind of like bags that are just one big compartment so I can throw everything in, um, but it's nice to have two smaller ones if I did want to keep something more safe. So in the phone compartment, I just have my phone. This has changed since my last What's In My Bag video. I now have an iPhone 4S. Um, which is my dad's old one, and this is my case for it. I've actually just ordered a new case because this one has just cracked along here, so it's no longer covering these buttons, but I really love this case. It's got the Harry Potter glasses and the little scar, and it says Harry Potter, so this case is awesome, but I will be getting a new one soon, but that's my phone, and I keep it in the phone bit so it doesn't get scratched and so that it's easy to for me to find when I'm trying to search through my bag for stuff quickly. Next thing in my bag is my purse. This also hasn't changed since last time. This is just my Kath Kidson purse. It's getting a little bit scuffed but I absolutely love it because it's like a medium sized purse so it's just perfect size for getting everything in. It's not too big that it takes up all the room and it's not too small that I can't get all my cards in. So I absolutely love this purse. It's Lastingly well, I've had it for over a year now and I just, it's just so pretty. So that's my Kath Kidson purse. Next thing I have is my diary. This is just my little 2015 pocket diary. Um, I carry a diary with me everywhere I go because especially since I finished uni, I'm doing so many different things like with a couple of different works that I have to keep it all in here so like my head doesn't go crazy. As you can see, it's just kind of filled to the brim with notes and stuff, um, but it's from W8 Smith and I just really liked it because it's a really nice light blue colour, which is one of my, which is my favourite colour, and it's got white polka dots on it. I probably need to get a bigger one because I'm getting to the point where I can't fit everything in this, but it's so good for not taking up much room in my handbag, so that is just my little W8 Smith 2015 diary. I've got my sunglasses, which I should keep in a case, but they're just thrown in the bottom here. These are from Matalan, they, Matalan sent me these last year and I really really love them. The shape is great, the colour's nice because it's nice and light and sometimes dark sunglasses look a little bit heavy against my face. They're getting quite scratched which is probably because I throw them in the bottom of my handbag but I just really really like them. They're just, they're, they're great sunglasses, they fit really nicely and the shape's really interesting so they are just thrown in the bottom of my handbag. Next thing is my keys, this is my set of keys which is getting bigger and bigger every time I show it on camera. Um, I've got a few house keys, a bike key, I've got a Waitrose and Tesco fob because apparently I'm an adult who now needs supermarket fob things. Um, I now have my car keys because I now have a car, this is my mini car keys and my little mini key rings so 
yeah, these are my keys. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I've got my iPod, which is the same as it's been, I think, the whole time I've done What's In My Bag videos. It's just an iPod Nano, one of the newer ones, in this really nice tealy green colour. And then I've got my headphones, which are Panasonic in-ear headphones because I can't wear out-of-ear ones. That's just thrown in there for whenever I want to listen to music, so that's my iPod. And to go with that, I have the iPods cable because I was on a train recently and I knew as I left the house that my iPod didn't have any battery, so I grabbed the charger so I could charge it on the train whilst I listened to it, so my iPod charger. And uh, now we're getting to the junk at the bottom. I have got some Walker Scotland oat and honey biscuits. Um, I was at a place that they had free tea and coffee for work and they also had free biscuits and I took these to eat them and then something came up and I forgot to eat them so then at the end of the day I just put them in my handbag so so now these are going to be in my handbag for, for whenever I want a snack so that is going to be useful when I'm hungry at some point. I've got my Soap and Glory handmade hand gel. This is very very useful for my handbag because the other day I was on a train and I had to go to the loo and the woman in there before me had been sick but I really needed to loo so I had to go but then there wasn't any water or soap in the tap so this came useful until I could wash my hands so hand gel is essential for my handbag because I have then got a load of lip products this is an unnecessary amount of lip products to keep in the bottom of my handbag but for some reason they just all end up in here instead of going back in my makeup drawers which they really should I've got two lip balms one of these is always meant to stay in my handbag so I've got the Dr Organic Bioactive Skincare pomegranate lip balm which is like an organic lip balm without any lanolin in um, which is nice and then I've got the Palmer's cocoa butter swivel stick lip balm which I absolutely love because it's really really nourishing um, and it smells like coconut uh, this is the one I like to keep in my handbag so that's also in there then I have three lip products the first one is my NYX um, mega shine lip gloss in beige is this one in Yep, in beige, so this is just a lip gloss I keep in the bottom. It's a really kind of, it goes on actually quite a nude, plain pink colour, so that's really nice for keeping in my handbag. If I haven't got any lip gloss on and need to put it on really quickly, that's great. And then I've got my Ted Baker Chubby Stick. All the packaging's one off this one, but it's just a chubby stick in a rose colour. And this one I do keep in my handbag all the time because it's just the perfect lip shade that kind of is so easy to throw on, goes with everything, all makeup looks, all hair looks, and because it's in a chubby stick, I don't have to worry about like a lipstick and putting it on, and it's not too pigmented, so it doesn't look overdone, but it's not too lip glossy, it's just the perfect mixture of everything, and I keep it in my handbag for whenever I've gone out of the house and then need to put lipstick on, this is the perfect thing for that, so that's always in the bottom of my handbag. And then I've got, which really should go back in my makeup kind of, in my lipstick collection. This is the YSL Rouge Volumpte Shine lipstick in number 8. This is just, um, it's kind of like halfway in between a lip gloss and a lipstick and it's my real like luxury lip products that I have. It smells like sweeties, I wore this a few days ago which is why it's in my handbag. And then finally, random things in the bottom, it isn't too bad this time. I've got a post-it note reminder piece of paper with a load of sums on it. This was for working out the cost of something with some friends and like dividing it all up. So that's in there. I've got a train ticket. Where's this run from? From Leamington Spa to Milton Keynes. So that's just in the bottom. And then I've got one of these three pounds off number seven makeup. Valid until the 5th of July. Okay, so this one's still valid. They obviously got in boots at some point that I should use or put in my purse. So that's in there. And that is everything in my handbag, including all the junk at the bottom. So yeah, that's everything. Tell me anything I had in my handbag that you guys also have, or if you have as many lip products rolling around the bottom as I do. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to see more from me and tell me in the comments what videos you'd like to see over the next few months whilst I'm home for summer. I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.